He's awake. He's awake. to his heart was extensive. He's going to need a new mitral valve. The virus also ravaged the surrounding heart muscle. How bad? No way to sugarcoat it. Even if you found the best heart surgeon in the world, I'm not sure it'd be enough. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself. How can I help? Somebody when you come to die. So? I can't operate. Here's VJ's cardiac echo. What do you his mean? Mitral you can't valve. Operate. It's greater than 60% regurgitation. That's secondary to the rupture in the papillary operate. muscle. Listen, his EF is under 20%. These numbers aren't even compatible with life. Right, which is exactly why you need to fix the valve. I can't fix it because the virus has damaged the heart muscle around the valve. There's nothing to sew a new valve into. Doing nothing isn't an option. I didn't say I was doing nothing. Look, I'm going to use a catheter. Taver? Or I'm going to place a clip. A clip. Into the mitral valve's weakened area, that should fix it. He's dying, Floyd. He needs surgery. OK, look, you brought me here because of my expertise and because you trust me. Right now, my expertise is saying this. I got to go. What happened to how can I help? The virus hit us hard. Nothing's the same. My hospital had three. Three what? Only three deaths. I feel guilty just saying it. Oh, you were spared. Wish we were. Especially Lauren. It hit her the worst. The left atrium's barely moving. COVID really did a number on his heart. He just said he got it here at New Amsterdam. He's not the only one. Approaching the left atrium. You too? It was in the early days. I wore the same mask day and night for two weeks straight. Yeah. Then I was intubating a patient, got a focus blast of exhale there right in my face. I just felt the virus coming through the mask. Sure enough, three days later, cough, fever, headaches. Yeah. PJ, why was he even here? You know, I mean, his age, knowing the risk, why even come in? How could he not? Vitals are stable. We all felt a sense of duty, of pride, even. If he's 80 over 40 and falling. Push Epi, I'm coming in. I need an echo over here. What happened? The clip didn't hold. His heart is failing. The clip failed, tore right through the valve leaflets. I'm going to have to crack open his chest and put in an artificial valve. That's a big surgery. I thought you said you couldn't sew into the muscle. What changed? Nothing. Not a damn thing. But he'll make it through the surgery, right? That's why I thought you should see him now to have one more moment with him. In case. I'm gonna go prep. Yeah, buddy. What is it? Hit me. You're such a good dad. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. If this doesn't work out, you 
look after Ella and the baby. Hey. Ella and the baby. What are you talking about? Don't be silly. You are going to be annoying her for the rest of your life, OK? It's. If something happens, I. Yes. Obviously. Good. Quarter's ready. We did it. Good job, everyone. All right, let's close them up. BP is dropping. What? Heart valve's not holding. It's slipping. Give me a 3 0 proline on a needle driver. Times two. You work the septum, I work the free wall. We're gonna have to get them back on bypass. We can't reestablish aortic cannulation. My stitches aren't holding. Neither are mine. Try and oh, I'm not getting any purchase. Come on, hold, damn it. give you strength for our granddaughter. Granddaughter? She needs her dadaji. He's waking up. Oh, thank God, BJ. Welcome back, Dr. Kapoor. Egg, Egg, look, I told Casey I'd be out of the ED for like 10 minutes. Yeah, no, any second now, he's gonna walk through that door and his sweet smile is gonna light up that perfectly round bald head of his, okay? Get, shut the door, shut the door. He's not here yet? Nope, nope, Ick, look, I really gotta go. No, 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 let me text Ella one more time. Don't, don't even. Say hi don't. from me. Uh, you know what, actually, I just wanna pop my head in real quick and I gotta get back to work. Wait, wait, guys, have you forgotten that he almost died? Okay, he had COVID, he had open heart surgery, and then he battled through a hellish rehab. Now today, our friend is coming back here and I wanna celebrate him for 10 minutes of your time, please. Oh, surprise! Ah! Shoot! Sorry, I'm late, I was working on my toast. Agnes. Wait, he's not here yet? No. Yeah, you know what? Give him my love. Come on. Just give him my love. Floyd. Just tell him to come into the ED and say hey. Oh, Brunstetter, you're back on too. No, Let me grab one more of these pastry things and then I am right behind you. They're called you. Ladoo and they're decorative, Brunstetter. God, what is wrong with you people? 10 minutes. Guys, 10 minutes. Shut the door at least. Just. 
Great, now it says kapoop. DJ! Oh, hey. What's up? What's wrong? He's not coming. No, I don't know. He, um, he probably just forgot his glasses and he'd head back to get them. I and... just got an email. The whole neurology department did. Dr. Kapoor just resigned. He's not coming back. Ever. Okay, here's what I think is happening. I think you're embarrassed because you and I talk every day and now you're worried that I'm gonna be mad because you've been lying to me literally the entire time. But I'm not, I'm not mad. I know that you have one of those ancient uh, answering machines that you can actually hear me leaving a message for you right now. You can hear me talking, so just pick up. I'm not mad, I swear I'm not mad. Okay, you know what, I am mad. I'm pissed, I'm, I'm furious with you because I'm your best friend. You told the entire neurology department that you were resigning before you told me. You, you still haven't told me because you won't pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, VJ. Do you, do you wanna know where I was when I heard your little announcement? I was at your surprise party. Surprise! I planned you a party that you didn't show up to. And you know, I don't, I don't deserve this, VJ. I do not deserve this. Unless, unless I'm just your deluded work friend who, who's been putting himself on for years. In that case, by all means, you can, oh. Mm. I'm sorry about that last phone call. Um, I didn't mean to dump all that on you. I love you, and I hope that you are okay. But I gotta draw a boundary here, VJ. You need to pick up the phone right now. Or you and I can't ever be the same kind of friends anymore. At all, really. So pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, BJ. Hi, what, are, are you okay? What, what, VJ, what's happening? No, hey, we're good, we're all good. Um, I just have to be quick, because he doesn't know I'm calling you. I heard your messages. Okay, well, I'm glad uh, somebody did. Yeah, uh, Iggy, you have been so good to him, to me. Um, you deserve to know what's going on. You know, honestly, Ella, I don't, uh, I don't really care anymore, so. VJ's doctor told him he's never gonna work again. Um, about a month ago. He didn't want to believe it. He kept saying that the guy was crazy. He didn't know what he was talking about. But um, a couple days after, he got ready and decided to come into the hospital early and surprise everybody. Um, he couldn't make it out the front door. He won't talk to me about it. He won't talk to anyone right now. So, um... That's why I had to call, you know, so you'd know. Yeah. Uh, a couple days ago, he told me a story about you, about a patient who thought he was dead. Yeah, yeah, I remember. And VJ said how much you helped the guy, helped his fiance to understand. And VJ said that he might have saved the guy's life, but, but you saved his soul. That's what you do. Dr. Fromm, you just, Go around saving souls. Wow. Well, I learned from the best. Baby, every cloud has a silver lining. Baby, every dog really has its day. And it matters to me to see you smile. Why don't we blow all your cares away? Yesterday is gone and will be forgotten. 
Yeah, hi, come in. Just heading out for the day. Hey. Ella? Hi. What? What's wrong? It's VJ. He... He... No. 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 No, 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 no. Oh, oh no. What did you know? How do we ever decide? is not an ending. In the words of the Bhagavad Gita, the soul cannot be cut down by any weapon, nor burnt by fire, drenched by water, nor withered by the wind. We are not slain when our bodies are slain. We have never not existed. Some of you, many of you probably don't know about Vijay, is that uh, he was born before the separation of Pakistan and India, which led him to become an officer the military, the soldier, the, a soldier who became a healer, the healer who became so slow. And, and when I say slow, I mean the man was practically glacial. <laughs> but those methods extended to his bedside manner. He would talk to his patients, he'd take his time, and not because he was slow, but because he listened. And he taught me that. Uh, you can search and search for the answers, but sometimes, sometimes all you need to do is just be still and be ready to receive the answers, to, to catch them out of the air. Like that fly ball that hit him right in the face. <laughs> VJ was the absolute worst softball player in our league. <laughs> but man, VJ running bases, maybe it was from playing cricket back in the day, but... The old dude was the only doctor to say hello to me on my first day in New Amsterdam. I think that he knew what it was like to be a new physician in, in a new country. It was a simple gesture, really, but it meant the world to me to be seen, and I suspect... Karen Bradley, you might want to leave the room for this one, but <laughs> VJ and I once snuck a patient into another hospital <laughs> yeah. to get him the care that he needed. And then we had to sneak him back. <laughs> I didn't realize that instead of ignoring me when I wanted answers, he was actually preparing me, leading me to not need him at all. I just, uh... Oh, God. I, uh... Que descanse con los ángeles, Vijay. Light and love to you. You'll be forever in our hearts. Gonna miss your wisdom. Thank you for blessing us. Goodbye, Vijay. <laughs> 